Hi, uh, welcome to our Angels Plus video here. We're going to give you a quick demonstration on how to make a very easy to build yet very super effective filter for your aquarium. Now as breeders, we like to have things where we have no gravel on the bottom of the tank, so under gravel filters don't work, and canister filters are too expensive when you have 100 aquariums. So we're going to show you how to make a really good filter and a very inexpensive uh, way of doing it. This here is just a piece of foam. It's a reticulated foam. This particular piece fits in this 55 gallon tank. It's about 18 inches by 15 or 12 inches and it's 3 inches thick. Now we can make these any size, any porosity, and any thickness. And uh, the object is to make it so it fits the end of the tank. So this one was cut previously to fit in this tank. And uh, what we're going to do to it is we're going to connect this little pump to it here to power our filter. And uh, this pump is uh, very simple. All we've got is the piece of foam, the pump, and some tubing that we bought at the hardware store. It's just clear vinyl tubing, in this case, 5 eighths inch inside diameter. And uh, that will allow the water to uh, uh, go through the filter and uh, create the, the draw we need for the filter to work. You can take your piece of sponge, you want to cut so it fits in tight. You don't want it, to, you don't want it loose, you want it so that it seals the water. Uh, from going through the, uh, the tank in a spot where the filter, you know, if there were any leaks, any cracks, the water would get through and the filter wouldn't work. So you can set it up here like this on the end of the tank where it's about an inch or so from the glass. Uh, it's not important to have any exact distance. It's snug to the bottom of the tank, it's snug to the sides of the tank, and it's probably about an inch below the surface of the tank here. If you had it come up too high, it's possible the filter would clog and water would overflow the tank. Uh, prior to setting this up, I drilled a small hole in the side here. A hole is very easy to put in. We have a hole cutter that we use to, to uh, cut the hole in, but you can just take a very thin fillet knife, slice a hole in it. Make sure the tubing fits tight. If for any reason the tubing is too big, you slip and you cut too big of a hole, just stuff the crack with uh, filter floss or some kind of foam material, old sponge material, uh, just to clog it up. The object is to have it, you know, the, the tube on the pump to fit tight. Now this particular pump we like, it's a 300 gallon per hour pump, has an adjustable flow regulator right here so we can adjust it down as far as we want to go, um, which is uh, you know, a good thing to have but not necessary. Uh, these filters do not have to be run at a particular uh, volume per hour. It's just uh, any flow will work as far as nitrifying bacteria and taking care of the ammonia. Um, very, very simple filter and yet very, very efficient filter. This filter here, since it sits in the water, or this pump, since it sits in the water, is going to operate more efficiently than an outside power filter or a canister filter which has to lift the water up over the tank and down. They take bigger motors to be as effective as this. So this will allow you to filter the water more efficiently for less money. Uh, this can be placed anywhere in the tank. It can be put clo close to the filter. It can be put at the other end so you draw water. And you cut your hose to fit wherever it is you're putting it. If you put it at that end, you need a longer hose to come through the sponge. Um, you could put it on this side of the sponge. You could move this over a little bit and make it so it blows the water out. You could also connect your own diffuser on here or spray bar. And you could have it, you don't even have to have a hole go in the sponge. You can come up over the top of the sponge and down into the tank. And you could have a dispersing end, you know, a piece of PVC or something with holes cut in it to disperse the water. Or, like I said, a spray bar going across the top that you connect and attach and allow the water to go down into the tank through this, as a spray, being aerated as it goes. You can choose to draw the water from the bottom of the tank, from the top of the tank, and you can put the hole in the sponge wherever you want. So what, we, what I like to do is I like to draw water from the bottom of the tank and then have it come out through the filter this way in a very even flow. So we would, uh, we would just set this down in the tank. Um, it can be attached anywhere. It just has suction cups that would just sit on the bottom of the tank. And then this filter would uh, go through the hole that I, um, the uh, clear vinyl tubing would go through the hole that I drilled. And that's all there is to it. 